Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I, may, uh, I rise in very, very strong support of this legislation and the bill in front of us today. Uh, Representative Cook highlighted it very well that the pandemic really uh, shined a, a spotlight on the need for technology in our long-term care facilities. As we know, we have over 20,000 nursing home residents, and during the pandemic, they were left without really any true connection to their family members and to their loved ones, and technology came to the rescue. And this uh, bill really goes, it broadens it even more, and I do have a few questions, if I may, to the proponent. Proceed. Through you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Chairman Phipps, yes. Does this bill address all uses of technology? Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Phipps. Uh, thank you um, for that question, and Mr. Speaker. It does um, cover all uses of technology, and it is included in the bill. Representative McCarty. Yes, thank you for that answer. And through you again, Mr. Speaker, if we could just go over to put at ease everyone in the chamber, I'd like to uh, direct a question to the chairman uh, dealing with privacy issues. Uh, so everyone understands just if we allow the uh, virtual monitoring in the room, how is the privacy rights of the roommate addressed in the bill? Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Phipps. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would encourage everyone to look at lines 27 through 31, um, which address private, privacy concerns. Also in sections 47 through 58, um, it talks about the requirements for um, getting signed and written uh, consent and notification. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative McCarty. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And just one other question before I end with some comments. Uh, would the chairman be able to answer, does the long-term care facility have uh, the ability to look at regulations and policies directed to the virtual monitoring? Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Phipps. Mr. Speaker, thank you. For, um, yes, along very similar to their other abilities for uh, visitation, those same sort of policies and procedures would apply, um, and the monitoring would follow what's in federal and state laws. Representative McCarty. Yes, thank you very much. And if I may just offer a few final comments uh, to the chamber. This is a very important bill, and it also has a personal uh, connection for me. Uh, the virtual monitoring can also provide security and connection for the resident. It's a truly uh, person-centered uh, bill. It, it directs its uh, intent to providing a home-like atmosphere as much as possible in the long-term care facility. And we would allow that type of monitoring in a home, as Representative Cook uh, so eloquently pointed out. So I think why we're trying to simulate the best we can in the long-term care facilities a good environment, this bill is very important. It saved lives during the pandemic, and I think it's a very good bill to continue to move forward. Um, I would also like to recognize the long-term care ombudsman who has worked very diligently on this bill. Also, I want to recognize the long-term care facilities. Most have worked with us over the years to get the right provisions in this bill so that it protects to the best of its ability not only the nursing home residents, but also the long-term care facilities. We talked that the expense will be at the resident. Uh, the internet connections will be reimbursed uh, to the long-term care facility. So I think this bill is truly needed. It's a win-win for everyone. It's long overdue, and I couldn't support it with greater enthusiasm. It means so much to me. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, ma'am.